Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I have a tutorial for you on this roasted guy. So if you're interested in that, clean your hands, grab some clay and let's get started. First I'm going to take a bowl of tan clay and create a base from it. What I'm trying to do here is to make a teardrop triangle kind of shape. And now I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm gently creating a dimple. Now your base should look something like this and it's time to add legs. I'm taking a piece of tan clay and I'm dividing it into two equal parts. I'm going to grab one part now and I'm again trying to create a teardrop shape but this time it should be flat and obviously much smaller than our base. Now I'm attaching legs on the both sides of my chicken base and I can hop into making wings. All you want to do is to take a little ball of the same tan clay and roll it to create a thin snake shape. Now I'm going to attach it to the base and bend it to give it a proper shape. Now it's time for reshaping. I'm going to use dotting tool to create this line in the middle of our chicken base. To smooth it out I'm using a q-tip soaked in rubbing alcohol. And that's actually my piece of advice if you ever go overboard with texturing or if you want to smooth some harsh lines like I did here. Just take a q-tip or a cotton pad, soak it in alcohol and smooth those edges. Okay, now I'm using my dotting tool to connect nicely all the parts of my chicken. I'm also cutting off ends of the legs because I don't want them to be round and then I'm pinching those ends ever so slightly. Now I'm going to give it some texture and I'm using this metal part of my X-Acto knife for this purpose. If you want to, you can unscrew it if that would make it easier for you. Unfortunately, my camera didn't pick up texture in the chicken. It was totally out of focus, so I was trying to show the effect that we are going for on this piece of clay. Now it's time to give it a nice golden color and as usual, I'm using my soft pastels and a makeup brush for that. I'm adding darker color here and there with a small brush to give it more realistic look. Moving on, I'm going to attach my chicken on the ceramic plate and I'm using female liquid as glue to secure it in place. Next, I'm going to make a rosemary sprig and what we are going to need for that is a piece of aluminium foil as well as brown and green clay. I'm taking a tiny piece of brown clay and I'm going to roll it to create very thin cylinder. I'm going to place that on my piece of aluminium foil and using a dotting tool cover it all over with female liquid. Now I'm going to roll a piece of green clay, cut off this pointy end and attach it to our brown base. Female liquid is going to work as a glue here to secure leaves to the stem. Without it, it will be almost impossible to connect all of those teeny tiny parts without deforming them at the same time. Okay, so you want to add more leaves until you're happy with your rosemary sprig and then you can bake it according to your clay instructions. Remember that you want to bake your rosemary sprigs with this aluminum foil. You don't want to remove them from the foil before baking, otherwise they will fall apart completely. To make seasonings for my chicken, I've already baked these three pieces of clay and now I'm going to grate them on fine grater.
Here I'm spreading a little bit of milk liquid on my chicken and now I'm going to sprinkle my seasonings. I'm applying female liquid where I want my garnish to be and then I'm adding my already baked rosemary sprigs as well as tiny lemon slices. At this point your chicken should look something like this and it's finally time to bake it. After baking, wait until your creation cools down completely and glaze it using cloth varnish. So that's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. If you did, please give the thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next week.